Hello my loves and welcome back to my sketchbook. Today I'm working on a gouache painting of an eye, trying out a somewhat alternative colour scheme and I'll be talking more about the process and tools I'm using throughout the video, but for now let's get to today's topic. Now I first started thinking about this about at the end of last year after seeing an Instagram post. It's this artist that I followed for a long time, Davi or Davy Go, uh, or Constant Risk of Fire on Instagram, posted something along the lines of stop complimenting someone else's work by putting down your own. And I will leave a link below to the original post that I'm talking about and you can check out their beautiful comic illustrations and character work while you're there. But this really got me thinking about how I view and talk about my work publicly. I'm always honest about how I feel about my work. Generally, I will say if something didn't turn out how I wanted it to, which is quite often, not gonna lie. And I do this because part of my channel is about the reality of being an artist. You can do this for years and years and years and still not feel like you're at the level that you want to be at. There is always a drive to want to be better and learn more, but I do try to make it a learning experience. Sometimes I'm sure I'm not successful in that. I know at times I come across as overly critical or negative, and I think that's more a flaw in how I communicate how I'm feeling rather than how I actually feel. I might be disheartened by the outcome of a particular piece of art, but that doesn't equate to I hate my art for me. Not, not anymore anyway, and not for a long time. It's more a sense of I can see where I need to improve on this, and it's frustrating to have that gap between where I want to be and where I am. And this is what the original Instagram post was talking about. There's nothing proactive in the statement, I hate my art. That on face value is not someone looking to learn. And that might not be what you're trying to get across when you say, I hate my art. But the fact is, with a statement like that, your mentality is very much going to dictate your trajectory. If you say to an artist you admire, your work is amazing, I hate my art, or I could never do something like that. What can anyone really say to that? You could just as easily say, I really admire the way you use color. That's actually something I'm really struggling with. Does anyone have any tips? One thing that I love about my comment section here is just how many people are ready and willing to help and give advice on their experiences. But if they don't know how to help or even that you want help because you sound like you've already given up, then what can they do? You can be critical about your work without putting yourself down. Look at your art as if one of your best friends has made it and is asking you what you think. I would hope that you wouldn't say you hate it, that there's no hope for them and they'll never get to the level they want to be at. You might say that you can see that they've put a lot of time into it and you can see the start of something really great there. You love their ideas, their creativity, and maybe they should practice softening their shading or maybe the proportions are a bit off. Be honest, but be gentle. And you don't have to make these feelings public. Of course, you can if you want to, but proceed with caution. I know very well that someone who is constantly being overcritical of their work is gonna make the people who view and like their work uncomfortable. Making it a learning experience and sharing how you plan on doing things differently will certainly take the edge off. But one thing that I see a lot when I see huge flaws in my work is, no one else sees it. I think a lot of the time when we talk down about our own work, we're preempting the criticism and insults that we anticipate getting, when the fact is, people probably weren't even seeing what you see. And even if you do receive criticism, and I'm talking constructive here, not like unproductive insults and rudeness, when you've already considered your work and come to terms with what you can work on and put it out there anyway, having someone else tell you what you can work on isn't the blow that you think it will be. Like, yeah, I am actually already working on that. Thanks. Speaking of what we're working on, nice segue into the sketchbook page you're seeing now. A big thing I want to work on in my art this year is my use of colour. I actually think I have a pretty good grasp on colour when I'm mixing it, when I'm trying to match the colour to a reference, but I'd like to step outside the box a bit more, kind of build my own go-to palette of colours that I think will bring their own kind of style element to my work. And I want to keep that exploration fun too. So I had a look at some film screenshot colour palettes, you can find them on Pinterest, where people have taken a screenshot from a film and isolated the dominant colours that create this one cohesive scheme. I picked one that I liked and then I picked out a few corresponding or close enough colours from my Arteza gouache set. I found a reference which I will have linked below and just worked on essentially just putting the darkest colours in the darkest areas of the reference photo and really just seeing what worked when it came to mixing the colours as well. You'll see there's a lot of me going over the same areas and just making a slight shift here and there. The more you build on a painting like this, the more of a place of reference you get to work from. So you might get halfway through and realize that your darkest darks aren't dark enough, and that's fine. All you have to do is make them darker. It was a really nifty practice, actually. It helped me let go of control a bit more and learn to go with the painting and learn with it and adapt where I need to. 
might be able to tell I am working on going easier on myself and being more mindful of the language that I use about myself, not just in art. This is something that I really want to commit to going forward in all aspects of my life. The negative self-talk is just not something that I have time for anymore. The long and short of this is I hate my art and similar statements. It's just not a good look, guys. It makes other people uncomfortable. It looks really unprofessional to prospective clients. Like if you don't believe in you, then why should they? And it's just not productive. These kinds of thoughts are usually habitual. So it's time to shift the narrative, build a new habit of catching yourself in those thoughts and reframing your perspective. You can talk to yourself like you would a friend, but generally you're just trying to be more understanding, more hopeful, more constructive. If you see another artist excelling, don't see them as a threat or their success as your failure or some unreachable, untouchable achievement. Catch yourself in negative, jealous talk and shift your response to one of admiration and aspiration. Get specific about what they're doing that you want to do and then just start working on it. The only other option is to stagnate in the perpetual depressing cycle of I hate my art and that is not somewhere I think any of us want to be. Anyway, we will leave it there but I would love to start a discussion in the comments below if any of you guys have a certain perspective on this. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out the video description for the tools I've used today. The original Instagram post that inspired this video, please do check that out. And any other useful resources I might be able to throw down there in the description as well. Feel free to leave your questions below for me to cover in future videos. And same if you think there's something I touched on here that I could go a bit deeper into. And otherwise guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.